Hey there folks, thanks for tuning in for a brand new video review and I have something very special today although I am definitely not the first person to get this because well Disneyland is getting everything last you know we had Galaxy's Edge open first and we were stuck with all the products getting released last but totally kidding folks I went to downtown Disney to pick this up for a friend uh, my friend Clint at Star Wars Daily and he let me review this before I sent it out to him the Ahsoka Tano Clone Wars lightsabers. The only legacy lightsabers I have are the Jedi Temple Guard, which you probably can see behind me if my chair doesn't get in the way, right there for my Jedi, Jedi Temple Guard cosplay. Of course, those are more of like the Rebels version. I'm doing a Clone Wars version. Not a huge deal. Um, at least I have something in hand to when, when I'm posing and doing photo shoots and whatnot. But these are exclusive to Disney Parks. They had them released first at Disney World inside Galaxy's Edge because Disney World is still open but because Disneyland has been closed we are getting special reservations which is how I picked this up today I got the special reservation went to downtown Disney super simple and quick process maybe 10 minute wait in line we'll go up to the cashier ask them what you want they also had Count Dooku's lightsabers but I wasn't interested in that and Although the Temple Guard lightsabers I think are the best size and feel and fit in your hand, most of the legacy lightsabers are just so big and clunky and thick that I'd rather just have third party or aftermarket lightsabers made that are better quality and even though I'm not too into the sounds and lights and all that, I'd rather have that option too. I'm still debating if I want to get a few of the legacy lightsabers just as display pieces, but for now I just wanted to get these so let me go ahead and open this up and I'll give you a look inside. So as all the lightsabers do look, they come in these same cases which they're great if you want to weather them and design them and style them, but I just I'm not a fan of these cases at all. They're too for one, they're too generic. I do wish that we had more variation between each case than just the button here. And here you do see the Fulcrum logo. That'll focus right there. I'm kind of surprised they're green. I know the lightsabers do go from blue to green, but I'm kind of surprised they're not like orange and blue and white like Ahsoka's. By the way, Ahsoka Fulcrum hat by Luminous Beings. I will be doing another video with some Etsy haul products and I did share this on my Instagram, a beautiful design by Luminous Beings Are We. On the back it says, I am not a Jedi, or I am no Jedi in Arabesh, but I'll put a link to their shop as well. They might be sold out of this hat at the time, but stay tuned, they should be coming out with more. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at these lightsabers. So they do come in the two sizes, and unlike my Darth Maul lightsaber review, which everyone blasted me on because Back then, the first weekend of Galaxy's Edge being opened, nobody told me at the park that you needed blades to make the sounds. Of course, I wasn't trying to get the lights and all that, but at least the little chee -chee, the little click technical sound, but nobody told me that. And of course, the whole coupler issue, and it was late, I got home at, from Disney like at 12 midnight and did the review until like 2, 3 a.m. Anyway, I'm much more refreshed now for these, and instantly I can tell these are so much lighter than the other lightsabers. I don't have my mini scale. I'm gonna run to my bathroom and weigh these real quick. The larger hilt comes in at about one, just over one pound, and this one is about eight ounces. So total they're about two pounds and very lightly tapped them. Maybe aluminum, maybe not plastic, but they are super light. They do fit in the hand pretty good. They're not too crazy big, but I know the third party and aftermarket lightsabers will still be just more narrow. Like I would be terrified to try to do like stunts and twirls and just anything with these other than simply posing and taking pictures with them or displaying it. I mean, as a display piece, I think these look great. I think this is fantastic. It's accurate. Everything is right about it. But if you want something for combat, for action, I would not recommend these. So let me get the sizing real quick. Let me get my ruler. If I get the right way here. So this comes in at just about, let me measure it at the bottom, nine and a half inches from the very tip right here. And the larger one comes in at just over, almost 11 and a half inches. So a pretty good size comparison and let me get these side by side too get those in view 
And as you can see, they are different designs too. We have these little slots sticking out here. Overall, they are similar design, similar base. You get a close up of everything here. Hopefully the light isn't reflecting too much on this. There's the bottom and the batteries I think are on the bottom like usual. Um, once we test it out, then we'll know. And here, this comes out to put in to put in the blades. And I do have blades as well, like I mentioned. So I do have two sizes that I'll be sharing. And there is the smaller Shoto hilt. And we have the belt clip here and here. And I'm pretty sure, I know I felt it somewhere. I'm One thing I wasn't too keen on is the ignition being in here and on this one. Yeah, they're both in these like black slots right here. So you just press these to turn them on and hold them on. Let me go ahead and grab the blades to test those out now as well. Here we have the 26 inch and 36 inch blades. Just showing you the box size differences. I can't get it all in one view, but let me go ahead and open these up real quick. So let me go ahead and put in the blades now. Let me get the larger blade in. If I can figure this out. There we go. So we do still hear that sound. There we go. And all right, let me do it without talking this time. There we go. And it's locked in. Let me go ahead and grab the shorter one now. Blade cap out. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn these babies on. And I'll be I'll turn off the lights too so we can see them in the dark. Okay, I hope these have batteries in them, but I'm thinking maybe they have these little slots of paper that you need to take out. Okay, so funny situation. It's kind of interesting. I didn't realize there's actually two buttons. I thought the buttons that you change the colors with are the same ignition buttons, but on the larger Saber, it actually is this button right here. And the smaller one, there is a switch. Oh, there we go. On the opposite side. So let me turn that off again and both at the same time. No, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I never get sick of the ignition. And it's pretty bright, granted I do have my lights on um, and it's still kind of dark, but they're still pretty bright. And they're loud, these are super loud. Let me turn them on individually, close up. They kind of make a weird, like, barely many motion or it's just kind of random. Let me try to, there we go. Turn that off. Let me get the other one. And let me go ahead and change the colors. And I'll stand up so you see the full blades also. So we have to hold the buttons for five seconds each. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty cool. And they do change their sound as well. That's the idle sound. I'm not sure if I turn them off green, if they'll turn back on green. So let's give that a shot. and turn them on again. Yeah, so whatever you turn them off or turn the color as, it'll turn off and on that same color. Let me get them at the same time. And off. Let me go ahead and turn off the lights and see them in full darkness. I guess semi-darkness because I still have my other room light on. So first let's do the green again, if I can find these ignition switches.
that the Ahsoka pose, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I gotta get the the one backhand. There we go. <laughs> this is fun. I, you know what? No matter what lightsaber you have, it's so much fun to pose with them. And nope, I don't want to turn it off yet. Let me go ahead and change the colors. I'm pretty sure the longer one goes in the front, I could be mistaken, but it's actually, these are pretty lightweight compared to even my Jedi Temple Guard ones. I know it's the wrong show, but when she pulls them out like that, let's try that. Oh, not yet. <laughs> I gotta get my thumbnail photo as well. There we go. <laughs> Let me get these lights back on too. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Let me lightly clash them. There we go. Not much. The motion sensing isn't all there. I think the larger one catches it more. Oh, I didn't realize I was holding it down, but here we go. Here are both lightsaber colors. I think the blue is just beautiful too. But the green is definitely more Ahsoka to me. But of course now we have her with the white hilt, so. And here we are again with the close-up. Alright folks, there we have it. Here are Ahsoka Tano's Clone Wars lightsaber hilts. If I manage to get this video up today, you'll have a few more days to get them at Disney. If not, I've heard they are sold out at Walt Disney World. I know Ashley Eckstein, the gem that she is, signed hundreds of the boxes um, or the cases for them. So if you got those, super lucky. But I, it, it hurts me to see them going on eBay for eight, nine hundred dollars, a thousand, twelve hundred dollars. If you get lucky and know someone like me, I'm always happy to try to help out whenever I can. Just follow me on my Instagram. That link will be down below. If you have any questions, any comments about these lightsabers, feel free to leave them in the comments section as well. Thank you all for watching again and stay tuned for my next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos.